Okay, so this is the map window GIS. Um, for some of you, you've worked with ArcGIS. It looks similar. In some ways, it works similar. Um, it's designed to work with the Purdue Manure Management Planner. That's why it's kind of nice. It's a free download that anybody can use on their computer. So if you want to do mapping, this can uh, help you map out your farm and work with it. There's a lot of things with this software that we're not going to use, but we are going to basically do the NICC College Farm on this and then export it to our Manure Manager Planner. So first thing I'm going to do is come up here to Manure Manager Planner Tools and I'm going to click on that and we're going to go to the Clipper Web App and get base layers for a new project. Um, and that will open up and um, let me Sorry, it didn't quite fit in the screen, so I had to resize it. But that'll open up the Missouri Clipper, um, a program that Missouri obviously has put together to help us get all the data we need um, that's going to be needed in the manure management plan. So um, we're in Iowa here, obviously, so we're going to click on Iowa. Um, when you do this for your own farm, you'll pick your own state, obviously, there. Um, and then I'm going to type in, click on zip code to kind of narrow it down um to a place in here um at Kelmer or 52132 so i'm going to scroll around so i can find that it takes a little bit of time so i don't mess things up here 52 um yeah let me pause so i got 52132 selected i'm just going to click make map and then that will open up the software again and show you an aerial view basically of our area um, I want to zoom in to the camera area, so I'm just going to, whoops, pull the control key down and zoom in there um, to get into our college farm here, because that's what we want to do the plan for. And some of you may not be full, fully familiar with the college farm, but um, I'll show you some of the edge fields as we work with it. Um, and let's see if we got everything in here. Not quite everything in here yet. Um, so we basically, we start, whoops down here at the south and here's a dairy foundation right there we do rent these fields so we're going to include these fields in our map so um, that's good and then we're going to come back out um, and the far north part of the farm here is basically way up here so I want to make sure I've got everything here I'm going to define the area so I'm going to click on that define area button up there nothing seemed to happen but when you do that then you grab your mouse and hold your mouse key down the left mouse button um, go across. I'm just going to draw a box around everything that I'm going to want to work with, and that basically includes the entire college farm here. Let up on it. Um, you can enter download name if you want. I'm just going to say NICC and submit that area. Uh, meanwhile, then it's going to clip all that out, including all the soil information and other information that I need within my software, and then I'll get ready to download it. Okay, I paused that while I was creating that. Eventually, this is what you will come up with once it's clipped it out. Uh, when you do your own farm, somebody say, well, what if I have two farms, okay? Um, if you get big enough and can get them both in the same picture, feel fine, but probably better off just clipping them separately and, and bringing them down into your map separately versus having a too large a file. Because the larger the file you're clipping out, the larger your picture you're clipping out, the uh, more time it's going to take. So I'm going to go ahead and download that file, and I'm just going to save that file, so I'll just click OK. Um, it'll ask me where I want to save it. Some of you automatically go into downloads. Um, I like to put it in this temporary stuff folder that I create um, and just click save there. Uh, but kind of remember where you save it because then you're going to have to go in there and get that um, to bring it into your software. So once I'm done, I can go ahead and close this window. Um, don't need this anymore because I clipped out what I needed. Um, and then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to actually bring it in. So I'm going up to the MMP tools again. Um, again, those of you who work with ArcGIS are familiar with this, so that's something that's unique to this program. And we're going to start a new farm project, and rather than calling it a blank project, I'm going to take it from a Clipper zip file. And that's what I just downloaded. So I'm going to go into that temporary stuff folder where I put it, so you're going to have to remember again where you put it. You can leave it zipped. Those, again, have ArcGIS class, you're used to taking and unzipping things here. We don't need to unzip it because it uh, unzip itself as it comes in here. Now it's going to ask you, where do you want to put this file at? Well, um, I'm going to create a folder. So I created a new folder here called NICC MMP 2019. Um, if you're working on a college computer at NICC, you'll probably want to be in the C drive, um, the NICC folder when you create this, um, or on a flash drive. You don't have a network access or anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to open up that. You can name it whatever you want. Um, and this says NICC. Oh, I just say NICC Farm. Um, as we go there and then click save and you can name it something else too. The new project folder, how it will be created in this new folder, is this what you want? Yes. 
Um, so then it's going to create that project folder. And you see it brought a bunch of stuff here on the left hand side here. Also brought in a map, the image I clipped out, as well as the soils. There's a topo map in here. A lot of good stuff that came in with that clipper. If I turn on my topo map, um, that'll show some unique things there too. As for the topography, it'll show me what watershed area, which I guess that doesn't show me anything on here, but my soils. So we really don't need the soils in the topo. Um, I don't see any setbacks in there right now. Um, it does also have fields in here right now that I can start digitizing in some fields. Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and digitize in some fields. So I'm going to go down and we're going to start on the north end there. Um, and I'm just going to zoom in here at the north end um, so I can see these fields a little bit better. And I'm looking at this. Um, there's a waterway coming through here. Um, so one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to put these waterways and to zoom out full extent. I'm just going to click up here on this button. Um, I'm going to put these waterways in first as we look at it and give it a minute to come up. Um, yeah, I lost it somewhere. So if that happens to you, which it probably will, just right click on the photo and come here to zoom to layer and that will bring it back in for you. Um, so I've got a waterway that comes down through here and I'm going to kind of zoom into that area. Um, and I probably want to add in that waterway first um, before I start doing my fields. So if I come up here um, to my MM tools um, and come into um, add layer and we're going to go down here to our practice layer. We're going to put in a line practice layer. We're going to call this um, grass waterway. As we do that and we're going to click OK. And that's basically a practice we're going to put in. And then we're going to come up here and click on this plus add new shape to current shape file um, on the grass waterway. And we're going to start it up here. And we're just going to start drawing. And every time I left mouse click, it's going to add a point and continue on down that waterway as we get this put in here. And then when I get down to the pond, I'm going to click a point and then I'm going to right click and that'll end it. And then it comes up here with practice name. Let's pull that into the screen a little bit more and we'll just call it a grass waterway. And then it wants a code and that says it's required. So we're going to view practices here and that'll open up a web page. And that web page is going to give us all the NRCS codes that we want. So if we cl click on this table here right at top it says National Conservation Practice Standards that's going to open up the current conservation practices and here they are and we know it's a grass water so we're going to click on G here and you see down here grass waterway has a code of 412 so what I'm going to put in for a practice on that then is 412 um, and this says setback from that well typically in grass waterway you don't want to put any manure in it so I'm going to put a 30 foot setback off of each side of that grass waterway um, as we put it in there so we're going to click OK on that and what you'll notice when it gets all done here it labels as grass waterway, it puts that set back in automatically, and we've got our waterway taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the rest of my waterways here. Um, there are some others on the farm as you look at it, and then I'll, I'll pause while I do that. And when you're putting those in, you can just say click on that one. You don't have to add any more practices because we already set that practice. All we got to do is stay, make sure we have that selected, and come up here and add those shapes in. So here would be my next waterway. And I'm going to go a little bit past it, and then I'm going to right click and again fill that out, and then I'll put that in. I said, we'll go ahead and finish these here. So, again, I call it Grass Waterway, same code, 412, same 30 foot setback. Okay, so when you get done there, of all the waterways, there's a lot of them on our farm. Um, you can see where I've got everything created. Um, hopefully, you got about all the same figured out. If not, make sure you get the rest of these digitized in. Um, next thing we're going to move is we have another practice called a pond here. So we're going to zoom into that pond um, over here. Whoops. Let's get the zoom button on. Um, zoom in. Just kind of draw a square around that. And we're going to digitize that pond in there also um, as we do that. Oh, I forgot one grass waterway up here. There's one coming through here, but these are other issues. But let's do the pond right now since I'm going to do So again, we're going to go MMM Tools, Add Layer. Um, this time we're going to do a practice layer. This time it's going to be a polygon, though, instead of a point. And we're going to call that the pond. Um, we'll click OK. And highlighted the pond up here. Click on the shape here. And we're just going to draw around this pond, trying to keep on the edges of it. 
Yeah, I'm not so good, I guess. And there are trees there, so sometimes it's a little tough to actually tell where the pond is at. And when I click on the last one, it's going to be done, and we're going to just go out of farm pond. And again, we're going to need to look at the practices on this. And ponds are P, so we just click on the P, go on down the list, you can scroll down the list too, and we have pond right here. But let's go with that. Um, and that's a practice of 378 as we look at it. So we're going to call it a 378. Um, this one I'm going to put a um, 60 foot buffer on um, because it's an open water source, not just a waterway. Um, and we'll click OK on that. And that'll create that as we look at it um, for my farm pond. Um, okay, we do have one other practice, I guess, that we want to get included in there, and that is some terraces. So we're going to go back to MMMP Tools again and add layer and a practice layer of lines. And I'm going to call these my terraces. So we have some terraces on the back side of the North Farm. Um, click OK. I might have spelled that wrong. Um, but we'll live with it. So there's a terrace right here. So I'm going to draw a line on that. And when I'm done, left click and then right click to finish it. Um, we're just going to call it a terrace. Um, again, I need a practice code on that. I come up with a practice code on terraces. It's a 600. So we're going to call that a 600. And I don't really need a setback as far as I'm concerned on the terrace. I can farm right up to it. So we're just going to click OK on the terrace there. Um, I'll go ahead and draw the rest of the terraces in. Okay, so now we got everything in there. It looks like kind of a mess, but we're ready to start drawing our fields. And probably would have been easier to draw the fields first. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the terraces. I'm going to turn off the ponds. Um, by the way, just to show you the terraces, there's several right here. Maybe I should zoom in so you can see where those terraces are at, I guess. Um, I had basically I put in four different terraces, one here, one there, one there, one there. Um, zoom back to the photo. Um, turn off the grass waterways, the terraces, um, and even the setbacks I'm going to turn off for now. Um, so my map is kind of clean so I can start drawing my fields in. So we're going to zoom in, and I always kind of like to start at the north and move south. Um, again, you may not be familiar with the farm, so you're not sure where the fields are at. Um, but we can carry, pretty much carry from this aerial imagery where they're at. <clears throat> so this is not now going to be a practice layer, but just a feature. So we're just going to add layer, and we're going to add a feature layer, and it's a field, so a field is going to be a polygon. A polygon is something that has several sides to it and contains something. So we're going to call this the farm fields. Whoops, cancel. Cancel, I apologize there. We actually have fields set up right here, so we don't have to create a new practice. It's already in here. They do that automatically when they set up the program. My apologies there. So I'm just going to click on Add New Shape, and we're going to start up here with this first field and draw a boundary around it. And actually, this is really farmed as one field, so I'm going to go ahead and include it as one field. Um, it does look like two fields as you look at it. Um, and then when I get back up here, I'm going to finish it up and call it field one. And we'll just, I'll just name number them one, two, three, and four. Um, so we'll just say OK on that one. Um, then we'll draw another one over here. Whoops. Got to click on this first. Um, and I'll draw a couple fields in, then I'll come back here in a second. Okay, I did a little things. Um, now, we're at this point, and from here to the east, all these fields are actually touching each other. So um, there's a way to make sure they share our same boundary when you have something like that. So I'm going to draw in the next field here, and I'm going to click up in here inside of that field. Um, whoops, let's see if we can do this again. Okay, cl click inside of that field. Um, right up there in the corner, come over here and come along this little narrow field here a little bit faster you probably should take a little more detail on this <clears throat> get down to the bottom here come inside of this field because that's going to share a boundary now i'm going to stay when i create the boundary inside of this great big field and then i'm going to come up here inside of this little field here as i'm going along and i'm going to finish up here and we're going to call this, what are we on, field 5 by now, I believe. So I'm going to say click OK, field 5. And when it's done, see, it clips that to the same boundary there. 
Um, so that's kind of a handy feature there. Um, by the way, if you want to delete a field, um, say you screwed up, you come over to the select tool here, um, click on the field that you just want, had here, um, and select it, if it will, there, now it selected it, and then up here where it says minus shape, you click on minus shape, um, that'll take it out of there. Um, sometimes the undo button over here, if you've enabled undo, uh, you can undo the last change and see, put it back in. So that's another tool we got in there. So go ahead and finish drawing in the rest of your fields. I'll do that here and I'll pause while we do this. Okay, so I got all the fields drawn in. That's what it looks like. I also have this image um, in your... Oh, I forgot one more field. Hold on a minute. I gotta pause. Okay, I forgot that one field off the east here. Right across the highway from the dairy center. And some of you may not be familiar with our college farm. So here's the map with all the junk on it. Um, you can see that. I also uploaded an image of this into Brightspace so you can see where everything is at on the Brightspace. You don't have to be exactly the same as what I've done, but at least get to jest. Again, what we're trying to do is learn how to use this software and using the College Farm as an example for working with that. And we left off some of the uh, practice structures and things like that. Now we've pretty much got a map that we can work with and take to our manure management plan. So our last step is to come up here to MMP Tools. I can click on that. And we're going to take... Um, export and we're going to create an MMP plan from this and we're going to save it here and I've already got one there to save over top of it hopefully it'll let me do that um, yes um, because I had practiced doing it and what it'll do now is open up our manure manager planner and you say that's, that's blank and we'll take care of that in a minute and there's all your fields with all the information in them um, and that'll quit with this video and we'll get into manure manager planner next